I've had a few messages from some of your 12 students saying how much they don't like spectroscopy. So in the main for year 12, that's um, infrared spectroscopy and you've got to come up with a structure. So I thought I'd make a quick video uh, with a past paper question on this topic. So the link to the questions in the description, just click on that, have a go at the question and then play on for the answers. Okay, so the first thing we've got to do is uh, determine the empirical formula for this compound. There are two possible structures, and then we've just got to give the two possible structures. So straightforward empirical formula, put your percentages in, divide by the relative atomic masses, get your moles, make sure these are the three significant figures, and divide by the smallest, so we see that one there, divide everything by the smallest, and we get this whole number ratio of three carbons to seven hydrogens to one bromine. So we've then got to show how it links in with the MR. It's, we're told that the MR of the isomer or the isomers is less than 150. So what I would do is work out the MR of the empirical formula, came out at 122.9. So you, it can't be, or we don't need to multiply this one out, is what I'm trying to say, because that would take you way past 150. So the molecular formula must also be C3H7Br. So your two possible structures are one bromopropane and two bromopropane. Okay, so part B now, it's got the infrared um, information that we've got to process. So we're told the student heats the mixture of the two structural isomers from A, so that's the one bromopropane, two bromopropane, um, heated under reflux with sodium hydroxide aqueous, so that's going to give propan 1-ol and propan 2-ol. So then the student separates these two compounds out and heats compound E under reflux. See, I've highlighted that. That's really important. With acidified potassium dichromate 6, that's an oxidizing agent, to form G. We've got the infrared spectrum of G below. So key sort of areas I always look at or get the students to look at Look at around about the 3,000, got a really broad absorption there. So that's the OH of a COOH group. And the other key peak here is this one at 1,700. You've got that really strong absorption. That's due to the C double bond O. So we can say from this that G is a carboxylic acid. Now just think about how G was formed. It was formed by refluxing E with the oxidizing agent. So E must be a primary alcohol. So I've just sort of noted that there. So this is not my final answer. I always tell my students, just jot your thoughts down as you're going, because you can get marks for this. So E must be a primary alcohol. So therefore, this one was E. So therefore, this one must be F. So I've said the infrared spectrum for G shows a broad absorption between 2,500 to 3,500 cm to the minus 1 indicating the presence of the OH of a COH group. The absorption at 1700 cm to the minus 1 indicates a C double bond O. So I'm saying G is there for a carboxylic acid, E must therefore be the primary alcohol. So there's my three um, structures. And the final thing we've got to do for this part of the question is we've just got to give an equation for the formation of G, the carboxylic acid, from the primary alcohol. So you take two moles of oxidizing agent and you convert the primary alcohol to carboxylic acid and you make one mole of water. If you prefer the um, structural formula equation, there it is there. And the final part of the question, we're told that compound G, remember that's G, that's F, the secondary alcohol, they heated in the presence of a small amount of concentrated sulfuric acid, so we're going to get an esterification reaction taking place. Carboxylic acid and alcohol with an acid catalyst gives you an ester, which is H, so I've given the equation, we only have to give the structure of uh, H, so that's my structure for the ester, and if you had been asked for the equation, that's what you would have written. So this thing here, I call this lasso chemistry, my chemistry teacher used to be a great um, advocate of this, so in an esterification reaction, obviously we need to make a water molecule, so we take an OH and an H, so don't worry about which or you take, you're still going to get the um, the same structure. And again, if you're interested in the uh, structural formula equation, there it is there.